Hi guys, welcome back to Origami Twist. Today's video is day four of the Daily December Challenge. And today we're going to do an adorable little origami mouse. Um, I think mice are perfect for this time of the year. Um, they show up in a lot of different stories and things with Christmas and oh, I just think they're cute. So we're doing an origami mouse today. This one's a little bit challenging guys. So if you are looking for something a bit extra, this is a good place to start. I'm using a six inch by six inch, six inch square of origami paper, double sided. This will be the inside of the mouse's ears and there, the light pink will be the body in this case. So body color side down and you're going to bring corner to corner and crease. We're going to do quite a few crease guide marks on this one, but you'll see why in a little bit. Now I'm going to take the corners that are connected to that crease and I'm going to bring them together to make another crease going the other way. So now you've got an X creased into your paper. With the ear side facing up, so again the body is still facing down, you're going to take one edge this time and bring it into one of those center creases. If you've done the origami crane, that will look very familiar to you. And then you're going to take the other edge and again bring it into the center. Now be really careful that you're not overlapping here as that will prevent you from doing other folds later on. So once you've got those in, you're going to open them up again. See, I told you there's a lot of creases in this one. And now we're going to do the same but on the other side of the paper. So you can see these ray, sun ray shaped creases. We're going to be folding the edge that has one of those creases right in the middle of it, again, up to the center. And same thing on the other side. So the other edge that has that crease folded and comes into the middle of that, to the middle of that edge, we're going to use that edge and bring it towards the center. Now, if you're having trouble orienting yourself or anything looks too fast, don't forget, it's perfectly okay to press pause and go back and try it again. It's just paper. And sometimes it takes several times to figure some of these things out. Okay, now we've got a series of creases here. We've got an X folded into the corners, and then we've got two diamond, we've got two angled creases on either side that form a diamond shape. We're going to be using that diamond to create the next fold. So one edge is going to come up and crease at the diamond, and the other edge is going to come up and crease at the diamond. Now if you have your fingers on the outside and you push them towards the middle along that crease, you're going to find that the paper sort of wants to fold in, and that's okay. You actually want to press that down so this, those new interesting triangle shapes are touching the paper underneath, and slide your fingers together until you meet in the middle, and then fold that flap down. Just like that. And guess what? We're going to do it on the other side, so you do get some practice with this one. Once again, you're using the two creases that you've created that make that diamond shape, and you're going to fold your paper up just to that point. Come from the outside, drag your fingers in, and as you do, you can press the paper down and just drag them in until you get to the middle, making sure that corner is still a nice corner. And again, right to the middle and fold down to make a little triangular flap. And believe it or not, I know it doesn't look like it yet, but those are the mouse's ears. <laughs> okay, so next step is to create the actual ears. And we're going to do that by, we'll start with this one. So this top fold here that's sticking up out into the sky is going to come down and meet this crease here. Just like that. And then you can fold that down out of the way. And on this side, we're going to take this crease and bring it in, excuse me, this fold and bring it into this crease. Same thing, making sure you're pivoting at that outside corner as you did with the last one. Once again, not overlapping anything, just folding it down. 
and you can put those away for now. Your ears are nearly finished. I'm going to turn the whole model over so you've got just a plain piece of paper now with everything tucked underneath. We're going to take one corner and fold it up to about a third of the way up the top triangle. So if you're looking at the crease that's just there, you're going to go from there about a third of the way to that point. And that looks a bit like this. Now it doesn't matter too much how close to that point you are. You'll see that the shape of the model actually changes based on where you put that. So you may, you may change that on purpose. We're going to take this outside corner and this center point here and create a crease between the two. So that's one of the corners of the crease and that corner on the outside is the other. There you go. And we're going to do the same thing on the other side. One corner of the crease, the other corner of the crease of the new crease and fold. There you go. Now we've made a neat little shape, but it doesn't look like a mouse yet, does it? Well, watch this. Fold along that crease, that line that everything's lined up with except these little two triangles. Everything else is lined up and just fold it in half. Being very careful at the tip because that is going to be the tip of your mouse's tail, so you want to be very gentle with that so it's nice and pointy and give it a good crease. And there you go, you can see the beginning stages of your mouse. So there's his nose, his ears, and the tail. We're going to do the tail and the body next. And I'm right-handed, so I'm going to hold it this way. If you're left-handed, you'll probably want to hold it this way because you're going to need some control in that, in, in that stronger hand's index finger. You're going to bring your finger up so that it's just a little bit behind the ear because you do want a little bit of body before your tail starts. So you decide where it goes and then you push down. And when you do that, push down on that, you'll notice that some creases begin to appear and the whole thing kind of comes down. Now we've done moves like this before. Again, the paper crane is a great example of that where it's going inside and it's reversing the fold. It is called an inside reverse fold in origami. I'm going to make mine come out just like this. So the tail isn't going to go up and down, it'll come out just slightly. And then when I decide where I like it, I'm just going to pinch and create that crease for those two edges there, exactly where it sort of wanted to go. And you can, you can make it whatever shape you like, but that's a good one for me. Okay, now we're going to, this is going to get tricky. We're going to do that again, except going the other way. So with this one, you pushed down and made a new fold. This time you're going to be pushing up and making a new fold. But the cool part about doing this one is that when you do it, so you're opening it up and you're pulling up on that triangle, when you do it, the inside reverse fold is actually going to fold right along the bottom of the mouse. So there's a great guide mark there. So pull up and then you know press in and close it like you're going to close a taco and or a book and press along the bottom and make a nice flat edge there. Now if you want to you could move it out a little bit. It's totally up to you. It depends on where your final where you want your final tail to, do, to be but I'm going to leave mine there. Now we're going to make the tail a little bit skinnier and we'll do that by opening up that flap again. So now we've got a center crease down the middle and we're going to take one edge and bring it into that center crease. So the long edge is going to go into the center. And we're going to do the same on the other side. Now if you find that this is drooping down a little bit, you can pull out a little bit and even it up. It's totally up to you. And it's looking like my little mouse has a little bit of a pink tail and that's just because my creases weren't quite as precise as they probably could have. But a little bit of practice and you can change the color of that however you like. Okay, now for the ears and he's nearly finished, our little mouse. 
So there, the corners to the left, or excuse me, the corner that makes the nose of the mouth is to the left and the tail is to the right. And the ear flap is going to be forward towards the nose. Now we're going to take that top edge that's sticking up out of here, not the vertical one, the other one, and we're going to pull it back, pivoting at the point where all of this stuff connects to the back of the mouse. And when you do, you want the ear piece. This edge that used to be on that angle there is now going to stick straight up out of the back of the mouse. So it's going to be perpendicular to the back of the mouse and give it a good crease. Then turn your paper over, and now we are going to be doing this one backwards, but it's okay because if you've done that first year correctly, all you have to do is use that as a guideline. So again, the flap is forward towards the nose of the mouse, and we're going to take that curved edge and fold it, pivoting at the back of the mouse, fold it so that it matches the other one, which will essentially make that ear perpendicular to the back of the mouse. And there he is. Now if you want to inflate his little ears, you totally can. All you have to do is insert your finger there and then just give it a little press down at the bottom until it stays open. There you go. And you can play around with that to get his little ears how you like them. And do the same on the other side. So insert your finger or a pencil and give it a little press until you're happy with the shape of the ear. There you go. Isn't he cute? Ah, oh, he's just gorgeous. And there you go, one little mouse. Now he should stand up, so if you want him to sit on a shelf or something, you certainly can. And if you want to give him a little nose and a, and a eye, you certainly can do that as well. I'm just using a regular pen, but you could use a marker or a crayon and maybe some whiskers. And get creative, give him a little eye, and if you want to, and this is my, I've sort of added this one, I think he would look cute with a little grin, especially if he saw some cheese or a little sweet treat uh, for Christmas. So there you go, a little origami mouse with a face or without one. It's totally up to you. I hope you make a whole bunch and hide them around your house at Christmas time this year and I hope you really enjoy it. We'll see you here again for another daily December video tomorrow and uh, please subscribe if you haven't already. I have lots more videos where this came from and don't forget it is totally free. All right guys, we'll see you tomorrow. Thank you. Bye-bye.